Good morning, everyone. Here we are again with the exact same competition as last week. So, in a couple minutes, we're going to start off with the chandelier earrings competition redo. And just to mention, this video or this live stream is going to be part two because part one was the canceled competition from last week. So, it's the same competition, uh, just different biome. So, this will be part two. Part three will probably be just like the ending of the competition. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, I do have the AC running, otherwise it'll be super hot if I don't have it running. So uh, volume won't be perfect, but you should still be able to hear me. Tyreel says, hey everyone, good luck for all of you. What's up Tyreel? Good luck to you as well. Rachel, good morning Dub. Hello everyone, good morning Rachel. Tyreel says, it's almost 7pm in EU. Oh, well yeah, it's late for you. Nathan, hola, FX Taiga. Hey guys, good luck to everyone in this competition. Good luck. Yes, good luck to everyone. I hope you are ready for this one. I mean, we had a whole week to practice, right? So I, I know a lot of people out there practice. They made different layouts. Mafia, what's up? Nice to see you here. Mafia says, hello, Dub. Good luck and put a, a donation. Appreciate that, Mafia. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Are you ready for this competition, Mafia? Says hello, Dub. Mike, uh, I don't understand the language, but it says impressive. How to get ranked 1200, no NFT. I, I'm Brazil. Okay, okay. I can't exactly understand what you're saying, but I do have a guide out for chandelier earrings. And if you follow through with that guide, I think you can easily get not just top 1200, but I think that guy can get you top 800 in the competition. Pretty sure. Yo on says morning. Morris Caballero. Good luck, guys. FX. Hey, Michael M. Happy 4th. You are correct. It is the 4th of July here. So happy 4th of July to everybody who is uh, celebrating. Which I, I believe it's mostly a USA thing. So I know I have viewers. The other side of the world who it might not be applicable to but yeah for here happy fourth of july pokari says hey mafia is ready that's good andrew conley hey good luck everyone it's five more minutes to go i did practice a new layout so it's not going to be the exact same layout as the one i did last week this one's a little better i'm aiming for 60 chandeliers per hour instead of 55 uh chandelier earrings not just chandeliers so yeah, I'm aiming for 60 chandelier earrings per hour, which is a little better. I don't really know how I'll end up like in the end because I've seen a lot of good layouts. People have shared their own and um, some other people have just shared the rate. But I see people pulling off like 60 or 70 per hour. Maybe these are just like the top 50 people for all I know. But yeah, I've seen some really good rates. So I, I think I should be able to get top 100 anyways. Like if I can get top 50, that'd be amazing. But I don't, I might not be able to. Just because a lot of people practice. They have some good builds. Martin says hello. And sudden call seeing parents uh, get a new fridge. And the pin pay did not go easy. Oh, okay. No problem. Nice to see you here, Martin. You're, you're still early. Having competition hasn't even started. Sinister S says, sub dubstep, what's up? Uh, did you know if the offline mode would still be working? Unfortunately, they turned offline mode off again. Um, so it's not going to be working for this competition. I hope they bring it back as soon as possible because that's like, that's one of the main features this game needs. And just because it didn't work last week, they turned it off this week. Because supposedly they're still trying to fix it. So... It's not going to work this week. Hopefully it comes back soon. Crystal TW, hi Dub. Hello Crystal. JMR Leroy, good luck Dub. And thanks for your last video. No problem. Yeah, I hope you found it helpful. Crystal, this competition feels familiar. It's almost the same as last week's. <laughs> almost. They just had to change some stuff in the biome for some reason. They had to take away a river. Put us in the forest. I, I, I prefer the plains. Just the forest has too many trees to clear out. That's the really that's the main problem. Forgot to get some background music going. OK, 
Okay, should be good. Should be. Captain Black, hi Dub, hello. I should move my chat over here. Instead of looking at the corner. Might have some back, uh, background noise. Martin, uh, start a fancy cow. So you, then copper. Uh, build copper fast to power plants. Yeah, if you can get to copper production fast, you're going to make a, a, a lot of money. Planes was so much better, yeah. I agree. I prefer the planes. Just three minutes to go. So when the competition starts, as usual, the first couple minutes, I'm just going to try to focus, get it done quickly. Get my uh, wine bottle rush set up quickly, I mean. So I can start producing cash. My goal for this uh, competition is going to be to get it done in under three hours. Like, I might stream longer than that because, like, I do want to let it run and test it out. So you guys can also see that. Uh, but I'm going to try to finish the build in under three hours. I, I didn't practice the, like, the startup. So I'm kind of have to, I'm, I'm going to have to, like, impro improvise on that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my design right now. I'm gonna have to improvise on the rush. I didn't, I didn't practice that, but I'm, I'm sure I can get it done. Matty Coleman, what's the best rush for free to play? Sheeps. Uh, the best one, I would say, yes. Do sheep pens for wool rush? You could do copper ore to copper. It is possible. I did it in the guide I shared yesterday. It's just not as good as wool, but it is possible. Warren, what's up, Warren? Uh, same strategy, fancy cow, uh, then copper. It's a good strategy, yeah. Especially if you have the, well, yeah, the fancy cow NFTs. Crafts casualties, do you think someone can be competitive without NFT? Absolutely. Um, at the moment, yes, you can still be competitive without NFTs. Uh, the whole guide I posted yesterday, I did not use any NFTs. And it, the final result came out really good. It was a really good layout. Like, way better than I thought it was going to be. Matty Coleman, best beginning rush for free players, sheep. Yeah, I would say still uh, sheep ends for wool. <laughs> three hours. <laughs> if everything goes well, Warren, it should be three hours. Hurts a lot. Good day off. Fingers crossed for a good competition. Yes, good luck to everyone. What's up, Grasmere? Says, uh, Grasmere says hello, Dub. Good luck to you and everyone. I've changed uh, my design four times since Tuesday. I haven't tested this one, so let's hope for the best. Oh, I hope it goes well for you, uh, Grasmere. See, I, I didn't have time to test out like four different designs. I just did one more design and I went with it. Uh, competition's about to start, so best of luck to everyone. Make sure your rush goes well. Matic Coleman offline mode will not be on for this one. They've turned it off this week. Nathan shooting for 49 plus per hour this time. Best of luck with that. Uh, it's a really good rate if you can get 49 or 50 per hour. So I'm going to focus on here for a couple minutes. I don't know if they've updated the game yet, so I wouldn't be surprised if I get disconnected. I actually didn't check if they updated the game yet. Uh, maybe they didn't. Before I forget, I want to turn my ornaments on. I already turned my skins on. The, the ornaments will make everything cheaper for me to build. Okay, those are on. I'll turn on the open packs later. Sell some bonds. But really what I should be doing is setting up my uh, lumber brush. And um, let's see. I'll set it up here somewhere. So yeah, I want to get my lumber rush going. Because this build needs a lot of lumber. But also, I, I need lumber for my one bottle rush. Okay, where's that lumber storage? Right here. Turn lumber on. Uh, oh yeah, I sell my gas because I don't need it. Since I'm going to use the dragon. I don't need these uh, copper panning sites or the panner houses that I start with or the storehouse. I'm going to sell all those. Okay, I need some uh, lumberjacks going. 
So place down the hatchet hanks and the juniors that I have. Now I need a way to get energy. Set up my energy rush strategy. Have the buildings face each other, that way it'll be uh, quicker. There we go. So that's energy, that's lumber. And now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna set up my uh, wine bottle rush. I'm gonna sell the oil safe because I have no need for it. Since I'll be using a dragon, I don't need to make gas. Right, so I'm thinking, I want to set up the wine bottle rush here, but there's so many trees, it's, it's annoying. I'm going to be building stuff here, so I don't want to, I don't really want to set it up over there. I guess I could just set it up in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna set it up here somewhere. I'm putting the sands here for now, but I'll probably move them. Uh, I just plan to have my first couple of glass factories in this general area. Yeah, I have enough money to build my first glass factory. Got to get the silent right for the passive iron, and I want to put down my crane bots to build faster. Sure, I'll sell copper ore. I probably don't need to, but I'll, I'll sell copper ore. I want to sell the rest of my gasoline. Let's put that there. I'm going to get rid of the ore storage. Uh, I'll just build another one later. Okay, and right now I should be fine. I was hoping I'd be able to build another glass factory, but I'm not going to have the money to do that. So I'm just going to have to wait until I sell uh, 10 wine bottles and then I'll be able to, to afford like two more glass factories, I think. Crystal DW, any 4th of July plans? Uh, maybe like barbecue with my parents, but other than that, nah. Like I, I don't go around shooting fireworks if that's what you were asking. <laughs> Last year, uh, I went with my girlfriend to go see the fireworks in some uh, event that was going on. Thing is, it's it's so hot outside right now. Like, we don't even we don't even want to deal with the heat. Louis DePoint, here we go again. Hey, boys and girls. Hello, Louis DePoint. Nightwolf, uh, usually it takes me three hours to get my gas set up running with two power plants. That's about average, I would say, Nightwolf. So it, it's not slow, it's, it's about what people take. I think it, if it takes somebody four hours, I think that would be slow, uh, since most people can get it done in two or three hours. Crystal says, good luck, everyone. Uh, Matty Coleman, what is the meta item? The meta... For stars is chandelier earrings, which is crafted in the jewelry crafting table. These and uh, the meta for cash is copper. Copper is cash boosted, and once you get to copper production and scale it up, you can pretty much get all the money you need for your build in just a few hours. Yeah, BBQ sounds very good. Firebloom, it is very hot. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Firebloom, I didn't know you were watching. 
Crystal uh, DW, it's uh, 92 Fahrenheit here, so I felt that. Um, what is it today? It's noon right now. Actually, it's kind of cloudy today, so it's just 90 degrees. It's not even that bad. So I got my glass factory going. Got to make wine bottles. So now I got to wait like 10 minutes for the wine bottles to finish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I forget, I got to turn on the open corrupted packs. That's going to help me craft wine bottles a little faster. Okay, so once I sell this batch of wine bottles, I should be able to afford two more glass factories. And I'll build them. Well, I'll build one on each side, actually. That would be better. Yeah, I'll, I'll build one on each side. In the meantime, I'm collecting a bunch of lumber, a bunch of energy. I, uh, I should place down a wood shed, that way I can also collect uh, wood. Because I think the issue I ran into last time, I, I guess you can't even say it's an issue, but um, I, I needed, <laughs> I, I think I used up all my lumber and energy to build all those forges, because they, they use so many materials, and I was waiting on that for a while. So I'm going I'm to try to build up as much as I can this time, as many materials as I can. And uh, last week I did, I did the build very quickly. I finished in like 2 hours 35 minutes, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna, really, the goal is to finish in under 3 hours, but I'm going to see if I can finish it in like under 2.5 hours. I need to just make the amount of money that I actually need to finish the build. For my design, it should just need 8 million cash. And that's without the ornaments applied. But I think I just need to get 8 million cash. I know to some people, like, with no NFCs, that sounds like a lot. But for my setup, it's not really. It's not going to take that long. So, is anybody running with the same uh, design that you did last week? Or did some of you come up with a brand new design that's doing more chandelier earrings? Or maybe it's doing the same amount, it's just utilizing the new biome. Because originally my plan was to do the exact same design as last week. But uh, for, uh, I had a couple hours to practice last night, so... I went ahead and made a new layout, and thankfully it came out a little better. If it would have come out worse, I would have just done the, la uh, the same design as last week, to be honest. Warren says brand new. Okay. Brand new design, hopefully it's better. Hurts a lot, same design, 56 per hour. Your 56 per hour is better than my last week's design, so that's nice. David to clap. Uh, are you going to play again Eternal Paradox? Uh, yes, David, absolutely. I'm going to be playing Eternal Paradox and I, hopefully I'll have more guides for it. Uh, the game's supposed to release this year, quarter three. Right now in Eternal Paradox, uh, our guild dub, Deadly Ultimate Brigade, is the number one guild in that game. So I'm happy that we have the number one guild for that game. A bunch of competitive players. Mafia, thank you so much. Appreciate that so much, Mafia. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you get top 500, top 225, whatever you're aiming for, Mafia. So Tweet's brand new, uh, but not tested at all. It's kind of risky. I was also thinking about doing that, but uh, nah. Uh, I'm going to put wine bottles in auto sell just in case. I might forget. I'm at five wine bottles right now. So like five more minutes. Then I'll sell my first batch. Yep, 
Just gotta wait five more minutes. Amir Z, new design, okay. Homeboy Gaming, hey! I wasted four days trying out a new design, says Homeboy. Uh, nothing worked better than my last design. Okay, yeah. That could happen, Homeboy. Yeah, that, that's why I wasn't too sure when I was practicing last night. Like, I'm pretty sure this design I'm trying to come up with is not going to be better than last week's. But, I mean, it was, so. Okari, I've been sick, so same design. Okay. It's time consuming to come out with all these different layouts. Like, I saw somebody mention they made six layouts on my uh, Discord. Like, dang, that's a lot. No, but it was also time consuming to make that no NFT layout from start to finish. The whole guide. I, I, I did want to do it to help people out, but also to um, challenge myself with editing the video. I think the video edits came out good. Um, normally, a, a guy like that it would be like three hours of unedited footage. Got it down to like 47 minutes. It's still a long video, but like it's a whole guide from start to finish. So I think that was uh, very good. Warren went from 45 to 51. Nice. Good improvement. Like, what? 15% more? First of all, uh, yeah, I messed with after the competition was cancelled. Right. So, Tweez, unfortunately, I'm getting uh, tired of May Mayhem. We already in July. <laughs> and it's not working yet. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think some people are burned out with the competitions every week. I think it's better this way with competitions every week. Um, you, you try to do all the competitions, but if you feel burnt out or tired or you need to take a week off, just just skip the competition or don't try as hard. That's really all I could say. Like, you're not forced to do all these competitions, guys. I know there's like rewards involved, but you got to think about it. Is it worth it? So it does take a good amount of effort. I'm gonna move the sliding right here because I'm planning on building the next glass factory right there. David, uh, yeah, I was there. Uh, can I join your guild next time? But David, I will probably see if I need to recruit it again for Eternal Paradox when the game comes out. We have over 60 people in the dub guild, at least on the Discord. So they get priority to join the guild first whenever the game comes out. Uh, they do have to stay active and progress. And if they don't, then we'll look into getting more people. So at the moment, dub for Eternal Paradox is not accepting new members. Because it is going to be competitive, uh, competitive guild. But once we are, I will put out an announcement on Discord and let people know. Louis Point. yesterday I was testing the build. Uh, today, mode, and I got, like, less 10. 10 less? <laughs> oh, so... Uh, it, you made it, and now you're making less. Oh, well, that's not good. Amir Z was doing 46 per hour on the last one, but now with the Trinity NFT, gonna see what can be done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good rate. Um, I, I actually didn't pick up the new Trinity gem works or the earrings. I, I, I didn't want to. They're, they're not horrible, but like, I, I, I'm gonna try to stay away from it. NFT specific, meta specific NFTs, I mean. That doesn't mean I won't get them like at all. Like, I might be interested to get some, use them for a while, and probably just sell them after that. But like, I'm gonna try to stay away from those. I'm aiming for more general use case NFTs. Like, uh, the Silent Ride. It gives you passive iron, but most people use this for oak barrel rush. That's why it's super good. I also need it to do wine bottle rush, like absolutely necessary. So the, like that NFT is still very good to have. But most of the NFTs that are like the best are the Miranda skins, enchanted ornaments, and the hatchet hang juniors. Because you pretty much use them all the time, so they're amazing. All right, so I sold my first batch of 10 wine bottles. So I'm going to build. Two more of these, one right here and one right here. And I got to make sure to turn them on as soon as they're built. Hopefully I remember. Martin, uh, selling copper ore and milk to the lumber mill to go for the forge. Well, I, I guess, you, yeah, yeah, the forge. 
uh, than fuel setup. That's a good plan right there. Crystal, that guide was very good. Thank you, Crystal. Appreciate that. I worked hard on it, so I, I hope it was a good one. Alex, hi, Dub. Is that super powerful NFT coming out, or will that be after the update? Mm, I'm a, I don't know exactly which one you're talking about, but I think you are talking about the one that was leaked on OpenSea. I'm trying to remember the name. I might be wrong, but I think it's called like the Master Smith or something like that. Copper Smith, something like um I've not heard that that NFT will come out after the update or ne next week. I'm not sure if that's going to be next week's NFT. Like, I really don't know. Amir Z had some earned gala and decided to buy myself a pack so I could get the pack bonus. Nice. Yoan, sold your first batch of copper already. Very nice. That uh, you rushed two copper? Like, actual copper? What did you do, Yoan? What was your strategy? Because I was thinking... You can do Copper Rush very easily if you own a Great Sawmill. This thing right here. Because then you don't have to spend 50,000 cash on the Lumber Mill. So if you own that NFT, you can do Copper Rush very easily. And that would be better than doing Full Rush, in my opinion. Unless you have the Sheep Pen NFTs. And I guess that's another story. Matic, how much you get for 10 Copper? Since it's cash boosted, 10 copper will give you 50,000 cash, which is a lot. That's more than 10 wool gives you. Yoan, yes, directly. I got the great sawmill. Okay, I thought so. That's why I was asking. That makes sense then. Yeah, good strategy. Very good strategy. Okay, making wine bottles with two of them. Building the third. Uh, I'll get rid of this. I'll move it later. The uh, Stylin ride. Yeah, the great sawmill, since I've gotten it, has been super helpful. And I didn't even get it when it first released. I think I got it like two or three months after it released. Like, I, I pretty much needed to get it to do wine bottle rush. That's the main reason I got it. But it's proved to be very helpful with every single competition that I've done since I've owned it. Yeah, when, um, I should do the roads first so I don't get confused. I'm planning to have this long road right here. Yeah, let me put some roads down just... Because I can afford to spend the money here. Very important I do the roads correctly or... Uh... I mean, if I if I put something in the wrong spot, it's gonna screw me over. Okay. All right. I'm gonna move this uh, junior. Oh yeah, yeah, Starcraft and wine bottles. Okay, so I got three of them making wine bottles now. All right, and uh, keep letting this run. 50 lumber already and 70 energy. Yuan, yes, directly uh, got the great sawmill. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sergi, uh, hey, Dub, you opened crafting. Why you have a discount? Uh, Sergi, um, or Sergey, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but um, when you go to... Let me show you. So I have the enchanted ornaments, NFTs, and part of their utility is that it reduces the cost of things in the store. So if you own the correct ones or if you just own all of them, then you'll get a 25% discount on everything on the store. So it makes it, you know, easier to afford everything since everything's cheaper. 
So enchanted ornaments are like one of the best NFTs that I would recommend. Because it, it's always going to help you out. It's going to help you get things done faster. Yohan, I'm thinking three forge and then pass it to gasoline. What do you think? Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's good. You could probably do more forges since you started it off with the great sawmill. Maybe do like four forges or five. Because really, you don't need the gasoline until like you're right about to run out. You don't need to rush to it. Did I sell another? Yeah, I already sold another batch. Okay. So I'll keep going with the wine bottles. I mean, with the glass factories. Uh, I will build the next one right here. Yeah. Get rid of that tree. All right. Yeah, I can move my stands closer and also have some glass factories over here. Bokari says, Jam and Ice Rush going. Uh, slow start today due to need for computer reboot. Cash flash. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, like G, go. It's okay. Jetty. G, Jetty. Go. Like Sergey. Okay. Six, five, four, three. I don't. I think I need to move my stands, but I'll move them anyways. Move them a little closer. Okay, sold another batch of wine bottles. I'm gonna make two glass factories. Uh oh, there's a tree there. So I'll make one here. Okay, yeah, I'll just make that one for now. I can't remember how many I made last time, but I think I made too many. Alright, so I'm out of gas, so I need to save up 25 wine bottles now to sell with the dragon. So I get rid of my fuel surge. I'm gonna get rid of my trade depot as well. I just I'm gonna wait for it to come back because I don't want to like cause any bugs. Like if I, if I get rid of it while it's doing a trade, I don't know what happens. Martin's making lumber and saving for the forge and fuel setup. Good plan. So next though is forge, then cows, and forge to cash rush. Uh, by selling copper. Oh yeah, I just realized something. I have background music on, but I actually have it uh, muted on Streamlabs. Yeah, I totally forgot I had it muted. There we go. Okay. 
I was wondering. I thought it was like super quiet, but no. It, it was playing music. I just had it muted on stream apps. Gotta keep collecting lumber. I'm easily gonna use all that lumber when I when I pave all the roads and when I make all the forges. Easily. Patrick Canvas, after two sales, I would be able to buy my first forge. Nice. Getting work done quick, first half hour. Ah, <laughs> uh, no problem, Martin. Hope you're good doing well. Maybe I can place some roads down that I'm planning on having. My road setup will be a little different than usual. So you might be kind of confused at first. Almost made it to 25 wine bottles. Come on. Amir Z. Yay. First batch of copper sold. Very nice. Well, I just sold a batch of 25 wine bottles. Gonna buy me a bunch of glass factories. Speed up the process. Oh, yeah, there's a tree here. I keep forgetting. Dang. Okay. I'm reading the Discord too. I, I seen somebody ask what did the top 10 guys actually sell to get so many points quickly. So I'm going to reply to him. I sell wine bottles at the start. Uh, and they give so many, so much cash and stars. I am able to sell wine bottles because of the NFTs that I own and use hopefully that gives them an answer now not everybody in top 10 selling wine bottles i do think some people do like jam rush jam does give a lot of stars uh same thing with ice uh, ice also gives a lot of stars basically what pokari mentioned earlier jam and ice together gives a lot of points the so tweets today i'm not going for straight roads go use the half grid as much as possible okay yeah the use one road to have six buildings around it something like that <laughs> i've not done that since the blue steel build i made on the godot playtest okay that's being built so 
build one more here. Right, yeah. Yep, yep, right there. Six. Okay, four, three. I can build another one here. And I can build another one there. Okay, all right. Mafia, uh, offline mode, it's still working, Ask Mafia. Uh, no, for this competition, unfortunately, they turned it off. So do not rely on offline mode. Can you even turn it on? It says you can. Um, they said it, it's not working. They said it's been turned off. Nathan, refer to your stream, right? <laughs> Well, he mentioned it. Bokari mentioned it. It's a, it's a good uh, point. That's why some people get a uh, star so quickly. I'm thinking like 10 glass factory should be good. I just need to get to the point where I have too much cash. And then I can pay on my roads and everything. I'm almost at 100 lumber. I can get up to 150 energy before this fills up. Gala Gaming, hey, good luck Dub for the second time, same meta, <laughs> thank you. I, I guess at least this time we'll have correct leaderboards since nobody can use offline mode. I'm thinking I should do my loggers first so I can just focus on wood production and then build out everything else. I do loggers first and then pave roads. I don't think I, uh, I remember how many loggers I had. Okay, I do know that I had at least three. I had three loggers. Maybe I had four. I can't even remember. Hold on. I think I take a picture of my practice layout. Yeah, I think I just had three loggers, not counting the NFTs. Okay. Correct leaderboards? No way, says Crystal. Uh, as correct as they can be, at least. The tweets was very funny. Woke up last week in 12th place. <laughs> uh, people were freaking out because somebody in our in the dub guild was uh first place and uh i get well people didn't believe that because it's just some random player that's usually not first place which i understand that uh so they were very suspicious they were pretty much trying to you know call people cheaters but like 
people didn't know what was going on at first, but it, of course it had to be a bug, right? And then a couple hours later, there was like uh, 50 different people in first place. Uh, not first place. It, it, <laughs> the top 50 was just all different random people. Like, not the same people as usual. So yeah, there was something going on. Something wasn't right. But it didn't take long for people to realize that offline mode was actually not uh, giving you the right amount of stars. Nathan didn't like the fact that you could come back at the end of the competition and your score would catch up and suddenly jump to a higher rank uh, if the offline thing would work that is. Yeah. I don't know how they're gonna find a way to um, make the leaderboards like still relevant during the competition. Oh, my cream bots are too busy building the box. That's right. Oh well, it's fine. I'll need the loggers anyways. Uh, I'm planning to just have the trees across the river. That way I won't have to build any ponds or use my water tower or, or anything like that. Oh yeah, I need to make more builders. I keep forgetting to do that. That's what I need. Just a bunch of random builders. To uh, speed up the process, that's right. I can't let my two crane bots do all the work. Here's just a bunch of random builders. Oh, I need to move my crane bots also. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I have a road here. So I will move them... Next to these builder houses right here. My next glass factory is going to be right there. I'm going to move my uh, Hatchet Hank Juniors to the spot that I'm planning on having them in the end, which... Right here next to these loggers. Whoops. Oh dang, I forgot to turn three of these on. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, they're on now. Alright. Alright, so Tweets, I'm a 600 place player, so I knew it was a mess up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going from 600 to like 12 place, so okay. I think a lot of people felt that way. Like they were in the top 50 for the first time ever. Martin, uh, reminds me of Dobra even Sage had to defend the person. Most still hate, uh, Dobra if they played fair or not. Yeah, I know, people, that's why people are sentimental about seeing some random person in first place that they've never seen before. Wh which makes sense, it's okay to be skeptical. It, yeah, most people would be. 
they don't want the same thing to happen again where uh, some person got paid out who wasn't playing fair. So I get that. Juxies T, good luck, Dub. Good luck, everyone. What's up, Juxies? Good luck to you as well. Uh, Juxies says he was late 30 minutes, uh, fell asleep while waiting for competition. Uh, it's midnight in, in Indonesia. Okay, that makes sense. So you take you take a nap and now you're ready. Sandula, hey. Sandula says, sub dub, did you work on a new build for this layout or winging it? I did make a new build. I did practice it. It was doing 60 per hour, which is better than the last week's build I made that was doing 55 per hour. So I should see some improvement this time. Nathan, uh, maybe it would show an estimation of the score in a different color text. So people would know it is not accurate. But who knows if they're going to make that. You know, Nathan, I think they should do it where you can run offline mode and it would catch up every hour. But of course, that would require Gala to use their own power to do fast forward every hour. And I, I don't know what the deal is. Like it, <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of get the feeling that that Gala wants to waste as little power as possible. That that's like the only way I can say it, really. Because if if they wanted to, they could run this game on the server the whole time, but that would consume a lot of power on their servers. Then like offline mode would actually really be offline mode, not just fast forward. But uh, not they didn't do it that way. Hopefully, what I'm saying somewhat makes sense. Because there's games out there that when you're not playing them, they are still running on the server. Uh, Townstar on offline mode doesn't do that. I think I'll be good with just these glass factories. Like, I'm going to start paving roads in a bit. Yeah, I have a bunch of lumber, so I'm gonna start paving roads. Maybe I can pave these first. Oh shoot, I need to pave this one and I have no way to provide a temporary road for it. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be the first road I pave right here. I didn't think that through. Warren, I've been having FPS issues lately since they started in Godot after a few hours that I haven't been having in Legacy. I haven't had any FPS issues since I played in the new version of Townstar here, so I don't know what could be causing it. I paved this road very quickly, hopefully. You have 100 lumber now. So I, I want to pave some roads to start using up some of that lumber. I could also build some forges. Well, I'll, I'll start building a bunch of stuff. I'll just try build everything at the same time. I feel like the paved roads take longer to build now. Or maybe I just never paid attention to their uh, construction times. Okay, I, I think I have enough glass factory, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I hope I do. 11 of them. I don't remember how many I built last time. I think I'm fine with 11. I'm gonna restart this and see what my production rate is. Yo, Anya, yeah, I'm doing 200 copper per hour, but I'm going down so fast in the leaderboard. Just because it's not enough stars, huh? Don't worry, the leaderboard's not important right now. Martin, uh, now to save up for power plant, so have to wait.
Oh yeah, I forgot to get rid of the trade depot. And I I don't need a well, so I'm gonna get rid of it as well. Well as well. Get rid of the well as well. I get the feeling that there's not going to be as many people doing this competition than compared to last week. Because uh, I, I feel like more people actually tried last week because there was an offline mode. And now since this week's not going to have it, <laughs> um, then I guess they're not going to try. They, they really need offline mode. Like, I, I know there was an issue last week, but they needed to work. Amir, Z, everything stopped to work for me. Like, everything froze. That happened to me, like, twice last week while I was streaming the competition. I think it was just because I was doing things too fast. sure that road's actually supposed to go there. Yep. I can't believe they haven't fixed the enchanted ornaments. Not the enchanted ornaments, sorry. They haven't fixed the enchanted fireworks. <laughs> it sounds like they were trying to fix those NFTs before 4th of July, but they couldn't even do that. That's a shame. They need offline mode so bad, says Crystal. Yes, they do. A Mersey Townstar money does not show up accurately, was out of money. Huh, interesting. I've heard that before. I've, that's never happened to me, I don't think so, but I have, I have heard that before. First of all, it was the reason was excited for the new town star. Right, yeah, it's one of the main selling points, offline mode. That's what everybody's been waiting for. And they finally bring it a week ago, and now they got to take it down. Hopefully not very long. They gotta take it down because they need to fix it. What a shame. Juxi's too much thing to fix. Oh, but they can get this new meta out just fine, huh? It's cool, like I mentioned before. New jewelry stuff, new crafts, all cool, but... This isn't the time. They could have waited for all this. Trying to spend all my money. Oh dang, my uh, my energy storage is full now. I'm gonna uh, stop making energy. I Man, it's a good thing though.
Oh, that road doesn't go there. Whoops. Okay, uh, I was trying to finish my road structure first. I think I have all my roads now. Yeah, I should have all my roads down, so that's going to be my road structure. Or layout or whatever. Need play and earn. Yeah, that's another big selling point. Play and earn. Which... That's been delayed again. Because apparently they think we need a... Uh, mobile play first. Well, I forgot the exact thing they said. Something to do, to do with a uh, mobile. So Zuis, I'm thinking uh, to stick with wool instead of going forge because the wages are cheaper. What do you think? Yeah, but copper gives you way more money, so Zuis. So I would still go copper in the end. And you, you're going to need to build those forges anyways for the chandelier earrings. So it makes more sense to transition to copper. At a certain point. Yeah, not the time for new things, says Truxies. Martin the Oak and the Junior uh, shoulder looks way smaller. I didn't look if he actually had the Oak. Oh, you mean if the Junior picks up the Oak weight? I think everything the, the Hatchahang Junior picks up looks smaller. Just wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything that Hatchet Hang Jr. picks up is smaller. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because that's a tiny piece of wood compared to the ones the other people, the loggers and the lumberjacks pick up. Big difference, yeah. Yeah, I want to pave this road, but I'm going to have to set up temporary roads for the witch shed and the lumber storage. Also, I'm going to put down some tree farms. Just near the river here. So far, making great progress. Martin, later, and I heard about that. What is that? Long time ago. <laughs> they still would talk about it. Will we ever see it again? It's been. Has it been a, a whole year now? I think it has been. Let me check. I have the uh, the announcement on the playbook. The announcement on when they turned it off. I think it's about to be a year. July 19th, okay. Alright, so on July 19th, it'll be the one year anniversary since they turned off Play and Earn for the daily challenges. So, we will pass it. Yeah, we're gonna go over a year. I, I do want to say this, you can play and earn in this game. I absolutely do believe you can without needing to spend anything. I mean, I've proven that, right? You can do the competitions, you don't need to buy any NFTs and you can win. And I even help you with doing that. You can earn free NFTs just by playing every day. I did make a video about that. So you absolutely can play and earn right now, like you can, but you cannot do 
the play and earn from the nfts which is what people are talking about when they say they want uh daily play and earn to return that's what people are referencing and yeah that that is that's what people want i would want that too But uh, for, for the people out there that, that say you can't earn anything, that's not true. You still can earn. Yeah, we all want play and earn to come back. Daily play and earn. Crystal feels like 10 years. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that's that's too long. I don't I think Townstar came out like three years ago, maybe. Martin, pay to win, yeah, but what makes more uh, competition or play to earn? I heard too often competition earns more. Well, when the daily play and earn starts up again, it seems like competition will earn more based off the light paper that they shared a couple months back. But at this point, honestly, I don't even know if the light paper matters because we don't know if they're actually going to go through with the light paper or make some completely new system based off what they recently said about them looking into the spider tanks ecosystem to see if uh, that would work better or something like that. So I don't exactly know what they're going to do anymore. Well, none of us ever exactly knew what they were going to do, but I don't know if they're going to go through with the light paper that they share. Like it said on the light paper, Anything subject to change there, since that's not, like, it's not in effect, just an idea. Oh, so far so good. I'm paving stuff. I'm not running out of money. That's a good sign. <laughs> oh yeah, how many wine bottles am I at? 700 per hour? Let me pull up the calculator. I just want to make sure I'll have enough money to do my build with just these uh, glass factories. Oh, what did they sell for again? Uh, divide that by... 25. You would think I have it memorized. Okay, yeah, I was right. I was just making sure they sell for 12,800. I am making 9 million cash per hour. Oh, that's definitely enough. It'll, I'll have all the cash I need it in uh, the next hour. Okay. Um, one hour into the competition. I'm gonna check the leaderboard. Doesn't mean anything right now. Rank 22. Nice. Nice to see that. Partial Viche, what's up? I didn't see your message. The uh, message disappeared there. Martin, $350 on group bought on Bitcoin. Bad day, $3 profit. Good day, $50 profit. That's nice. Even on a bad day, you'll make $3 profit. <laughs> So Martin, you're saying you like to build and play the game, but when it comes to profit, uh, wh where's the profit, huh? Yeah.
Okay, I'm still good on wood production. You know what? Maybe I should build the forge. Just uh, they'll they'll consume my energy too, and I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna need more than 150 energy. That's for sure. A little more than that, at least. So I'm gonna build a couple of those forges. I mean, I, I said a couple, but man, I can build a lot of them. Heck yeah. Yeah, I can build a lot of forges. <laughs> They're cheaper than paving roads. But they cost more materials. Alright. Okay, I'll let them work on that. I'm gonna start making more energy because I'm pretty sure that I'll need it. Well, okay, I'll wait until they start grabbing the energy because I think they're just gonna grab wood and lumber for now. So yeah, let them grab the wood and lumber. Once they start grabbing energy, then I'll start grabbing more. I'll, I'll also pave these roads. They'll get to it eventually. I'm almost done paving all the roads. Dang, I spent almost all my money. Okay, I need to calm down. Just uh, wait, let it run. Rank 70 says Bakari, that won't last. It's nice to see it for now, right? Pardon, if I build on it, it takes again longer until first power plant, so I have to wait. Yep, I gotta wait too, Martin. Gotta wait for all this to build. So, I have a question. I don't know if I asked this on the last competition, but, um... Do you guys think this competition is easy? Getting to chandelier earrings. Do you think it's easy, or do you think this is very hard? I want to know, because I think this is as easy as it's gonna get. That's what I think. Like, to me, the skill level for this is, like, the skill level you need to make uniforms. I forget how many uniforms you can make in a typical build, but I think it's, it's like, around the same amount of earrings you can make. Yoan says easy one. Yeah, I agree. I do think it's an easy one. Okari, passive gasoline. Very nice. So Martin says, with your help, your builds, yeah, I take way longer and don't understand all you do. <laughs> yeah, so what's your answer, Martin? I, I, it's easy or too difficult? Or it's a lot, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So tweet says, easy. Rocky, what's up? This is the easiest competition so far, in my opinion. It's not the easiest I've ever done, but I do think it's easy. People have figured out how to improve their builds so much like i think people were doing like 30s per hour at first and then they went to 40s and now apparently some people can do 50 per hour with no nfts i don't know whether to believe them or not but uh if that's the case that's super impressive bokari says yes easy and straightforward but optimizing is hard well oh. I, I guess optimizing anything, like trying to get it like super perfect, is very hard. That's true. But in terms of actually just trying it, I think it's easy. Amir Z, this time it's a little hard for me because I'm not using the NFTs I have for Cash Rush. Well, mostly I'm just talking about the whole build in general, like not even talking about the rush. But yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Martin, it's easy, but I built wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I understand. Partial, uh, easy, but hard to control. I actually don't think it's hard to control. Uh, th this is like uniforms skill level. It's not that hard to control. Maybe it's because we did stack box recently. Like, I, I believe that one's super hard. But we've had harder competitions than this. 
I think decorated cakes are harder than these chandelier earrings. Or maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, decorated cakes has more stuff to balance. Scooty Mac, easier uh, than the first seafood meta. I do, I agree with you. Yes, I do think chandelier earrings is easier than the salmon nigiri. That is true. Rachel, I'm doing 50 with NFTs. Right, and supposedly there's people out there doing 50 without NFTs. Like I said, I don't know if it's true. I don't, I don't think I could pull that off, to be honest. So maybe they're more skilled than I am. Uh, 50 with skins and ghost cards? I believe it. But like, without anything at all? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. My 55 from last week's not good enough anymore. So I hope 60 is gonna be just... good enough. <laughs> But to any of you watching and you just want to get to top to 100, honestly, I think you just need to do 25 per hour. If you can manage 25 per hour, I think you'll get top to 100. Now the guy they put out there, that one does 39 per hour. If you manage to do that one, I'm pretty sure you'll get top 800 at least. This is gonna take a while. Oh, I'm already at a million cash, but yeah, yeah, this You know what I'd need? I need more builders. Oh dang, I'm almost out of lumber. Look at that. I had a hundred lumber and I looked away for a couple minutes and I'm out. Wow. Rachel, I like food metas, have more fun making food. My favorite meta was always cakes. I always like doing uh, at least cake builds in general. I don't know why, but uh, I just used to do that one a lot. Okay, they're gonna start using up the energy because there's not enough lumber. I'm gonna start making more energy as well. And, uh, I'll get rid of... Yeah, I'll get rid of these builders. I, I want to put down more regular trees. You want got passive gas done? Uh, I think it's the fastest you've ever done thanks to copper. So it's been an hour, ten minutes. That sounds super impressive, Yoan. Yes. Yeah, the only NFT I had was the Great Sawmill. I would definitely do Copper Rush like Yoan did. Juke CC, I think 50 without NFT is hard. My limit is 45. And been trying uh, so many layouts aiming for 50, but it seems impossible for me. It, I mean, it sounds hard to me. Like, maybe if I did 10 layouts, I could probably figure it out. Maybe. Not saying for sure. I'm not gonna do 10 layouts, though. Takes too long. Louis de Point, uh, hey Rod, is Haunted Maze number three really help with wool for Milk Rush? Do you know that uh, Louis de Point Haunted Maze number three, zone three, doesn't do anything for wool? Just so you know. Um, the, the effects it had before, and I don't know if they fix it yet. But the way it works is if you have all four haunted maze zones, it would increase the movement speed of your your cows. Yeah. Uh, so I guess it would help with milk, but not with wool. But I don't know if that works right now. I, I have no clue. I haven't tested it. So yeah, I don't know if it actually increases your movement speed for the cows. Does it actually do it for the sheep too? I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can correct me. Yeah, somebody correct me, please. Maybe I should check the Telstar playbook. Does it actually increase, uh, sheep speed? 
I think maybe it does, but I just don't remember. Okay, thanks, no problem. You know what? Let me check the town start quick. Bro. I know it makes the cows faster. I cannot remember if it makes the sheep faster. I really can't remember. But uh, that's what the playbook's for. Let me actually check. There are so many NFTs. Oh, it does make cows and sheep faster. I thought it was just cows. It's it's supposed to. USA OTR Golden Age only cow speed, not sheep. Okay, well um. So I checked the Townstar playbook and I got this information from Discord when the NFCs came out. It should increase the movement speed of cows and sheep, but not chickens. I do remember that it did not work on chickens. It is. If you read the NFT description, it says it makes the cows and the sheep faster. So USAOTR. Um, it actually does work on sheep as well. I, I honestly couldn't remember. I had to go check. Amir Z got past gas done. You, you guys are getting it done early, in my opinion. So tweets it should at that time uh, was to spook cows and sheep. It should, yeah. So apparently it does increase the movement speed of cows and sheep. I, I just forgot about the sheep. Yeah, that's right, uh, USA OTR. The, um, it's, it's cause I think the idea was that chickens, they already move fast enough, or the fact that they're street chickens, like they don't need a movement speed buff. But the cows really did, and I guess the sheeps, it helps with the sheeps too. Rachel got gas done as well. It's actually really good that y'all are getting it done in just like one hour. Yeah, I'm getting lumber back, uh, but I still have a bunch of stuff to build, so. Uh, I, I could keep building more forges. All right, forgot to rotate this. There we go. Three to point. Thanks, Rod, for going the extra mile with your answer. Uh, but I think it's not fixed. Yeah, I don't think it's fixed yet either. Yeah, I, I want to make sure because honestly, I don't. I didn't remember. Oh, I, I was looking for my diamond warehouse because I, I wanted to have a warehouse here. I forgot that I already placed it. Let's see, I'm planning on having two warehouses so I can build one of them now. Also, I'm going to build the jewelry stores. I'm planning on having three of those. Has anybody sold the uh, earrings yet? At all? No, I, no, nobody sold them, okay. Just making sure. I wouldn't even be surprised. I think there's somebody out there that's gotta already be, like, crafting them. I'm gonna move my hatchet, Hank.
get rid of the switch shed. I'm looking for my rear solar panel. I don't need to use power plants since I have the passive energy from the NFTs. Man, I know it. Okay, I thought I skipped it. Place the rear solar panel there. It's going to be doubled by the effects of the diamond charge station. Yeah, I, I just gotta wait for stuff to build again, so. Too many trees to kill, you are right. But I, I am actually using all the wood up from those trees. Crystal, still working on gas, no problem. So it's only been an hour, Crystal. So you're not behind or anything. They're just some people are way ahead. Martin's building his first power plant. Ryan Robinson, hello. Started about two, uh, started about two, but I got forges up now. Nice. Huge thanks for the playbook, sons, Brian. Uh, you are very welcome, man. Appreciate that. Hope you guys continue to use it and it continues to help you out. I do my best to keep it updated. I was kind of behind on the uh, when they added this stuff, but it's all there now. See, I kind of want to get rid of those trees, but I need them. Like, I still, I'm pretty sure I still need them. Well, maybe not. No, yeah, yeah, I, I think I still need them. Smiling Monster, I have arrived for no thinking. What's up, Smiling? Have you started? Do you have a plan? What are you planning to do, Smiling? Are you planning to uh, look over my guide? See what I made? Maybe give you some ideas? Yeah, this time I posted a full guide. Start to finish. Pretty much out of lumber again. I'm gonna need to make copper and silver for the other buildings. So I, I guess after I build out all the forges, then I'll start making the panning sites. Your video, <laughs> yeah. Brian, I'm so mad I didn't recover. Oh, I didn't discover Gala and Townstar before a few weeks ago. Well, I don't know. When did you want to discover it? Like two years ago? That probably would have been a good time. Are you having fun, Brian, with a uh, town star? But you know, like like two years ago, there was almost no guides out there, so it was way harder to figure things out. Smiling, yeah, I watched the forty-seven minutes one and the fifteen-ish one. Awesome. I hope you learned some good things. Hope you got it all memorized. <laughs> you have a solid plan. Yeah, I get rid of these trees. I think I'm actually good on the wood production. It's just... I only have the one... Uh, sawmill doing everything. Do, making all my lumber. 
But I think it would be faster if I made two lumber mills, basically. But, uh, nah. I I'll just keep running with the one. It would be faster, though. That's true. Okay, all the forges are done. So I'm gonna need some Hanner houses. Actually, not all the forges are done. Uh, where I have the glass factories over here, that's also going to be forges. Oh, wrong spot. Whoops. Keep doing that. Actually, no, that's good for now. Brian, oh, I'm loving it. Very nice. That's that's the important thing, that you're having fun. But, uh, I know some people, they, they play Townstar, and I don't think they find it fun. They just play it for the rewards. And I, I don't think it's the same if you're just going to play it for the rewards and not actually enjoy the game. Because I enjoy the game, personally. And the fact that there's rewards on top of that, that's nice. I do, I do think it's like the main driving point. Like, it uh, encourages people to play just because there's rewards. So you should have fun. Smiling 2020, 2021, best time to discover Gala. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was trying to say, Smiling. Uh, he's right. Smiling is right. That was the best time to discover Gala. Uh, not last year, or not. Yeah, yeah, not not 2022, but 2021. Yeah, that was a good time. <laughs> the rewards are a perk. It's a fun game, and I love the puzzle of designing and tweaking. Right? Yeah, that's why people like this game. Yeah. Let's see, so I got out the Panther houses. I am going to try to build the wire mills. I need a, I need copper banding sites though. Hold on, I'm gonna get rid of some of these. Actually, I don't think I even have my ore storages yet. Yeah, hold on. Let me put the wire mills. Trust me, it should work. It'll be a shame if I build it and it just doesn't work now. It should work. You know what? I, no, I can't afford it. I was thinking of uh, putting all the jewelry crafting tables, but I don't have the money for that yet. Okay, so I'm going to move my crane bots. Move them, tuck them in the corner over here. I need to get rid of two glass factories because I have four storages in those spots. That would be here and over there. And then I can start making the copper panning sites.
Okay, that that should work for now. Almost an hour and a half in. I'm gonna try to finish this in the next hour. I should be able to. Has anybody sold earrings? One person. Actually, Briero, I don't know who that is, but... I think he was also the first person to sell earrings on the on last week's competition. So he must be using the same strategy he did last week. Which is, I guess, to get to earrings as fast as possible. Like, probably not finish the whole build. He probably just made a uh, couple of each building. Whereas my strategy is to finish the whole build. I'm just rotating these so they make more sense because they should go to the roads faster and enter the storage faster. Same thing with the panners, uh, panning sites. I I think it helps if you rotate the panning sites. And, and I mentioned this somewhere in the guide that I made yesterday. But um... That way the panner workers can actually enter the site a little quicker. So they can get copper work faster. And like even the way you have your work storage matters. Because if I have it like this... The panners can deposit the ore faster, but it does take the forge workers longer to actually make copper because they have to go around to pick it up. So I have it like this, that way the forge workers can make copper faster, which I need to start turning these on and making copper. Oh, that should be enough. Right, so wire mills are getting built. I'm getting the energy, the lumber. Pretty soon, I will also get the copper. And I'm going to make a few more builders. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll just have that row of builders there and over here. Okay, that should help out. Should be enough. So I'm making copper now. After all these are done, I should have the money I need to do the jewelry crafting tables. And uh, I'm going to need to make silver for the jewelry crafting tables. Uh, I'll go ahead and start... I'll turn on these other forges to make silver. I'm not making it right now, but I will later.
I can almost afford all the jewelry crafting tables. Hold on. Yeah, almost. Okay. So tweets, I used to build everything and only open the workers when I have all set, but now with autocomplete, I need to build one of each and start producing right away. Yeah. I do still think that uh, auto build should be optional. It shouldn't be forced because it does affect your gameplay. Overall, I, I do like it, though. I just sometimes I forget to turn building on. They get built and I think uh, in my mind, I think I already have them making wine bottles, which they don't, at least the glass factories. Martin had to refresh some rejects for not getting built and fuel storage not as well, right? Yeah. If there's funny business going on, yeah, you should press the game. One more batch of wine bottles and I will build the jewelry crafting tables and get rid of these glass factories because I need to put uh, forges in there and also move my diamond warehouse. Uh, just let it run. I'm actually, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the restroom while I wait for this. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I have enough money for the jewelry crafting tables. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and build those. Oh, yeah. So the ones that are going to make chandelier earrings, I have them right here. Because they're going to be right next to the jewelry crafting tables. And all these other ones are going to make either 
silver rings or copper rings. I'm going to need some silver panning sights. Okay, yeah, find that other silver panning site. I, I was trying to check the way I have it set up. I think like from this section to the right, it's going to be all silver panning sites. And all this other space right here is going to be copper panning sites. I was messing with this for a while when I was uh, testing this layout yesterday. And uh, this is pretty much what worked out. <laughs> like you have to have the right amount of copper panning sites and silver panning sites. But that's probably like the first thing you need to balance. Gonna rotate these panning sites. I guess there wasn't an update today. Or not that I saw at least. I'm gonna check Discord actually. No, the, the last update was yesterday. Alright, so far so good. Just uh, gotta keep waiting. Keep waiting for things to finish building. Let's see, how much lumber do I need? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, uh, 57. Okay, 57 lumber. Oh, and then I need more lumber for the forges. 
I need like 90 more lumber and then I'll be good. Okay, how much lumber am I making per hour? 271. Oh, like in half an hour I'll have all the lumber that I need, so that's that's fine. And then I'll be almost done. Nice, I already got one crafting table ready. Looks like we got two people selling earrings. Hello world at Bureau. As for cash, I think I already have all the cash that I need. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get rid of these glass factories and start building forges here. And after all these are done, I'll get rid of the rest of the. I'll get rid of the whole wine bottle rush, basically. I got all the energy I need, so I'm gonna stop making energy. This might be the fastest build I ever finish, and I'm pretty sure I said that about last week. But now that I have, I guess, more practice, you could say, I think I'll be able to do this one even faster. Oh, Tatsui says you will have your ores on red timers. Yeah, I actually forgot to mention that that some of my ores will be on red timers. That is correct. As you can see. Well, can you actually? You can't even tell. <laughs> yeah, some of my ores will be on red timers. 
specifically the ones in this line this line right here because i have pander houses uh some of them will be on yellow timers because they are right next to the pander house like these right here those will be on yellow timers i haven't built these but yeah those will be on yellow timers I have the hatchet hang here because that doesn't cast any shade. So like the the two panning sites that I'm gonna have here, those should be on green timers. It's it's saying there's dirty there right now. That's because of the glass factories. But yeah, since we see you are right, and it works. I mean, it works better than my last layout. So Martin saving up for the second power plant. Fuel is started but not passive. Then it'll all be passive, then you can go to sleep. Oh, Martin, you're going to have to leave your computer on. Just remember that to keep the game running. I can't remember if you had a refresh script going. Uh, speaking of that, since since offline mode's not going to work, what I'll probably do once I'm done and stop streaming, I will move over to Google Chrome, because that's where I have Tamper Monkey installed. And I'll run uh, the Lycan Warlord Guild refresh script because that's the one I have. Uh, just in case my game gets disconnected, you know, spinning T and I'm not around. So it'll just refresh it for me. Because I'm not going to be on my computer the whole time. Like, no. Ispis Bogdan, hello. Ispis says, good uh, job, Dubstep. I hope you win this time. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hope I win as well. <laughs> First Salapul passive gas done. I waited a while to build up a copper rush. Time to build up now. Nice. Mafia, I appreciate that so much, Mafia. You are amazing. I just finished my gas production. Well, nice going. Hey, you did it in under two hours. That's impressive still. Under two hours for gas production? Very nice. Ispis, do we have some rewards from the last competition? If you participated in the last competition before they put the announcement that they were going to cancel it, you will be getting an NFT, a really good one. That is going to give you 5% more cash for everything that you sell when you place that NFT in your town. That hasn't been distributed yet. It sounds like they still have to design the whole thing and test it. Uh, that'll probably take a couple weeks. But eventually, we will get that NFT, whoever qualified. And yeah, I think that one's going to be a good one. I think they just had to promise a really good NFT to make up for... The what happened last week like they have to give us compensation or else people are going to be pissed off i do think the compensation nft they're giving us makes up for the fact that the last competition got canceled uh because that's really good utility martin yeah refresh script i have it on edge seen desktop it's connected to tv just turn tv off see all the light <laughs> okay okay yeah you can think you got the refresh script then. You won't, you won't have to worry about the game not running. While you sleep. Okay, I got my jewelry crafting tables. The ones that are going to make chandelier rings. I just need the ones that are going to make the rings now. I have all my wire mills. Awesome. Selling more wine bottles, but I don't think I need more wine bottles, actually. Okay, forge is being built. So I'm going to move my diamond warehouse over. I need it closer to the jewelry crafting tables so I can store wire there. Like, as you can see right here, like these are going to be making wire. They'll store it in the warehouse. Same thing over here. These are going to be making wire, store it in the warehouse. I'm going to build this forge. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of all this. I don't think I need any more money. I should be good, so I'll get rid of 
these glass factories, and there's going to be more powder houses here. Got rid of my wine bottle rush so I can get rid of the stands. Make more panning sites. Oh. Mafia with the donations, appreciate that. Appreciate it a lot. You on? Uh, yeah, but only 5% more cash. Uh, it's not a lot in my opinion, like 5% of 37k for the sheep. That's really not a lot. It still helps out, Yuan. Like, um, it, it, you're still gonna have an advantage. Like, it's not the best NFT, but... You know, I, I think it still helps out. Like, take for, um... Uh, for me, I do wine bottles, right? Wine bottles sell for a lot. And I can make, like, 2,700 wine bottles an hour if I do the full setup. I don't know if you've seen me do the full setup. But, like, say I got 5% more cash out of, the, out of that. That's like I'm making 5% more wine bottles. Uh, so 2,700... Uh, plus five percent. So that would get me like a hundred more wine bottles if I had that NFT. One hundred more wine bottles worth of cash. To me, it's a lot. Uh, so I do think it scales off what you are making, what you're uh, selling for cash. Overall, I, I think it's gonna be a really good NFT. Maybe that's just my opinion. Martin, how often did they? Sorry, NFT gift. Uh, they make many oopsies. <laughs> I believe the buggy, Mr. The buggy water bot, that NFT, I believe that was a uh, compensation for the May Mayhem of 2021, I want to say. I wasn't playing during that time, but if I remember correctly, they had an issue with one of the weeks, and everybody who participated on that one got a free buggy water bot. I believe so. But I wasn't participating at the time. Gala Gaming, uh, the day they will make also no NFT competition. Boom, boom, the game. Um, I think it'll help Gala Gaming. I don't know how much it'll help. I think it will help. But I, I, I would say like offline mode and daily play and earn, that's going to bring in more players than no NFT competitions would. But yeah, it, it will help. I have a lot of copper. Probably because I made so many copper panning sites. I should start uh, making some of this stuff. Start making some wire and some rings. So this whole side is going to be making copper wires. I'll be making copper jump rings with this one. Uh, these three will also be making copper jump rings. I just need to wait on the lumber. These three will be making silver jump rings. Uh, do I want to make silver yet? E yeah, I can make silver. Okay. I'll start making silver because apparently I don't need it anymore. So these are actually going to have passive energy. I'm going to move my diamond charge station over here. Just not yet. I'm not going to move it until I have all the lumber that I need so I don't have to completely change this up. So for the time being, these are going to go manually pick up energy. It's fine. But they won't have to uh, forever. Mafia love the stickers. Yeah, they're fun, huh? <laughs> they are. Yuan, yeah, 5% of those big amounts is worth it for sure. <laughs> White Fang, the 5% will give you a big advantage in future against new player who doesn't have it. Yes, I agree. 5% more cash means you can afford to build stuff quicker. And you know that that helps out a lot. Barton, I meant for store oopsies. Oh, okay. Bad enough game have any problems. Good game. We love to play it, right? There has been store oopsies, right? Like they gave out a spooky windmill for the issue that happened with the diamond water pump sale and the ground silo sale. I remember that. I don't remember any other ones.
I need like 25 more lumber. And then I'll be set. I'm almost done. We're about two hours into the competition, but I think I can get this done in just a couple more minutes. Can I get rid of these builders? Yeah, I think I can. I'm gonna get rid of these builders. I'm just gonna use my two crane bots for now. Need more penner houses. If I remember correctly, I have this one rotated backwards. Uh, this was to balance the amount of silver rings that I'm making. I might have to mess with this, but I, I think that's how I had it. Parted the false new towns, diamond pump, two or three more, but happy I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're right. The 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 oopsies with the nukes. Okay, I remember that. No, no, now that you mentioned it, I remember it. The the problem they had with that one competition, I think it was the su sushi boat competition. Where it it detected the most of the top players. That they were cheating but they weren't it was a bug so they say in their system so they had to compensate those top players i was one of the ones that were affected by that but also the other people that got nuked and they had to be compensated with an extra war during may mayhem which i don't think they've sent that out yet they're going to but i don't think they've sent it out yet it, it was like extra gala for your best position and during may mayhem during the month of may Pardon, I bought one thing, but taking money for more. Postman had five things. Scene store was bad. Something was given. Huh. Did you buy something from the store and it took more money than what it costs, or what? If you bought it with Gala, it's the price of Gala changes, so the amount it says in the store isn't always like 100% correct. I mean, it sucks that it works that way, but that's the way they have it set it up. Almost done. And then I hope it works. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last week. So once it's done, I'm gonna leave it running. I'll I'll take a break and I'll come back just to see what the rate ended up being, and hopefully it all works just like it did when I uh, tested the layout last night. Martin, no, that was the problem. The credit card thing that got uh, written out. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that was the thing I mentioned with the diamond pump and ground silo sale. Why do I have so much copper wire? Oh, it's okay. I, I need these to finish. I need to make more copper rings. Have I made okay? I'm making my first earrings, right? Yeah, those are gonna be my first ones. Cool. Building your last power plant, then you're going to sleep. All right. Got so much copper wire. So six more lumber. Then I don't think I need any more lumber. Really don't think so. Should be it for lumber. If you, if you want me to. 
Oh yeah, I forgot I had all these builders here. I'm gonna get rid of these. We are two hours in. I haven't sold any earrings, but right now I'm 27. At least seven people have sold earrings already. See you later, Martin. Have a good night. Hopefully everything goes well for uh, you with the competition. Okay, three more lumber. Okay, I don't think I need any more lumber. I really don't think so. So I can move my diamond charge station over here. Uh, do I need more energy? I don't think so. I don't think I do. I'm going to need more wood to finish building out this other stuff. I don't think I need more energy. Hopefully I don't. Uh, I'm not forgetting something there. I need to turn some of these forges on that I haven't turned on yet. That one's on. Okay, they should all be on. Very important that they are all on. They're all making... Jump rings, chandelier earrings, which I have one right now, I'm making the second one. I'm making another one, yeah. Copper wire. Make sure to double check all your buildings, make sure that everything's on. Silver wire. It looks just about done, but I need two more pander houses over here. Is this full of wood? Almost, okay. Uh, I think I have too many trees also. So yeah, I'm not supposed to have this many trees. So, copper panning sites over here. Oh yeah, yeah, the dragon. Uh, the dragon's actually supposed to go... Well, actually, I could just put it there. Yeah. Hold on. Right, yeah. I could just put the dragon over here. Oh, 
right? Then I have two more silver panning sites. Actually, I remember what I was gonna do. I'm gonna take the dragon off again. I'll put it back later. I'm not selling anything right now. I have a lot of copper wire. Should be able to use it all though, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I just need one more panner house and one more silver panning site. No, sorry, I just need one more silver panning site. I forget, this is going to be the dragon. So the way I'm going to do it is trick the crane bot. I'm going to trick the crane bot. I'm going to put a crane, uh, panner house here. The crane bot's going to go for the wood. And here's how I'm going to trick it. As soon as it picks up the wood, I'm getting rid of the wood shed and I'm going to build the silver panning site and cancel the panner house just in time. I barely, <laughs> I barely canceled it and it still has the wood. So instead of dropping it, it's going to build the silver panning site. So hopefully you caught that. <laughs> it almost didn't work. Sometimes I try, I do it and it doesn't work, but yeah. And uh, over here, I can put the dragon back. So I tricked the crane bot. And right here, it's just going to be a tree. Rotate this. I guess I forgot to rotate some of these. Oh, no. No, that's right. Juicies, that's cool. <laughs> I think I'm done. Two hours, 11 minutes. Don't be fooled by the production monitor. It has not been running long enough to be correct. But I think, I think it should be done. Don't think I'm missing anything. Let me double check. The only thing that I did different, the, uh, when I practiced this, the dragon was over here and this was a panda house, but it should be the same. And I think I had all these trees. I think I did. Should be it. Two hours, 11 minutes, finish. I need to put stuff on auto sell. I have a bunch of copper wire. I really don't want to auto sell it right now. I'll give it 10 minutes and see if I can actually use all the copper wire. Uh, maybe not 10 minutes. I'll give it a couple minutes. Uh, I am going to reset the production monitor, but it's, it's going to be kind of flawed because I just have so much copper wire saved up and copper rings even. You know what? Maybe I can just sell some of that copper wire. Yeah, let, let me sell a batch of copper wire. It, it's just too much. 
I won't sell the rings yet. I think I'll be fine. I was making a bunch of copper for the start. So I'm gonna reset the production monitor. Leave it running for a while. I'm gonna take a break, but uh, I wanna see for a couple minutes to make sure everything works. I still gotta put stuff on auto stuff. Grasmere, well done, Dub, so quick. Thank you. Quickest build I've ever finished. Eodica, how all those silver not affected by shadow from buildings? They are, yes. I mentioned this earlier, but these are negatively impacted, so they are red timer. These are red timer. These are red timer. These are yellow timer by one shade. Oh, those are good, because uh, Hachahang doesn't cast shade. These are yellow timer, one shade. These are yellow timer, one shade. That is done on purpose. I forgot to rotate these apparently, but there. There we go. That's done on purpose. It still works just fine. Just the way this layout came out. The red timer is... What is it? Oh, I have a bunch of NFTs on, so... Let me check. Copper, 20 seconds, whereas the green timer is 8 seconds. So it takes like 2 and a half times longer, which is not bad compared to some other things like if you have red timer trees, they take eight times longer than green timer trees. So they're actually more forgiving with the panning sites. It's not as bad as it is compared to other stuff like, you know, like trees. So it still works. I forgot that's, uh, it's still beta green timer. Yeah. But it's red timer. It is. It's, it shows green, but that's, uh, uh, bug with the colors. The color is wrong. But yeah, they're slowed down, but that's on purpose. 27 earrings per hour? No, nah, just kidding. It's not done. I hope it works. Uh, just like I tested it last night. I hope nothing change now all of a sudden it doesn't work why do i have two energy yeah i'm not sure i'll flush that in a little bit in a little while i don't want to get rid of all those copper wires i'll flush it later oh yeah Okay, so at this point, some of you are probably going to get done with gas production. Which, it's normal. It is normal. Don't think what I did right here is normal, because it's not. Not at all. I'm not going to climb in the leaderboards until I sell a batch of earrings. And remember, I need 25 earrings because I'm selling with drag. It seems like 11 people have sold earrings so far. I've made 13. Yeah, I'm already at 13 earrings. You know what? I'm going to sit here until I get 25 earrings. We're going to witness our first sale of earrings together. And then I'll take a break. I'll come back and hopefully the build's doing what I expect it to be doing. I still had a million cash left over, so I could have stopped my wine bottle rush a little sooner. I'll leave it like this. You can see everything like that. There we go. <laughs> So I'll, I'll tell you what I'm looking for here. Copper ore should be 6,000 per hour. It's 100 copper ore per earring. So that should be 6,000 per hour. 
silver ore should be around 1680 per hour i think i might actually go higher than that let me check the uh, stats on the like and warlord guild town star visualizer because it'll tell me right there 60 chandelier earrings i'm looking for 1680 silver work per hour that's what i'm looking for so it hasn't reached those numbers yet copper i'm looking for 1200 which it's pretty much almost there i think i hear thunderstorms you know i think it might actually rain today on fourth of july Silver, I'm looking for 840 per hour. Not quite there yet. Copper wire, I'm looking for 600 per hour. So copper seems to be just about there. Silver, I um, have a little less than what I'm supposed to have. Maybe I am missing a silver panning site. I really don't remember. I might not have recorded the last change I made when I tested my layout. <laughs> Yeah, definitely thunder. Silver wire, I'm looking for 420. Silver rings, I'm looking for 300. And of course, earrings, I'm aiming for 60. Almost there. Hopefully, hopefully it stabilizes and it works out. And if it doesn't work out, I might just leave it like that. I don't know if I'll make any more changes. Uh, Tatuis, did you notice that most of the time the craft tables are grabbing from the other craft tables, not the storage? I've noticed that sometimes. Uh, has that actually been happening to me right now? I need to pay attention to that actually. But yeah, Tatuis, I've noticed that sometimes. No, he's going over here. This guy's picking up from that. Does that happen a lot to tweets? Do you know? I, I I'm pretty sure I've noticed it before, but rarely. It's a picked up silver wire. These are putting the rings in the store. I don't notice it, at least. I don't think it's happening to me right now. I think if that's happening, you might have too much crafting tables. Like, it, if they have nothing to do, then yeah, they might go for, uh, they might get the item directly from another crafting table. Matty Coleman, man, you're doing great. I am a thousand. <laughs> you're fine, don't worry. It's not a fair comparison, Matty. It, it's not. I'm sure you're doing just fine. I'm waiting for the 25 earrings. White Fang, they take uh, from other craft tables when there are nothing in a warehouse. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But as long as you keep them busy, they should be good. Not too many copper rings. I just don't want to sell those copper rings. That's why I'm still holding on to them. If I have to, then yeah, I'll sell them, but I'll try to hold on. So 
So uh, I'm almost at 25 chandelier earrings. I'll take wine bottles off. Auto sell or at 40. Yeah, I should never have to auto sell or, but if I do, I'll auto sell it at 40. Copper and silver. I should not, same thing, I shouldn't have to auto sell this, but if I do, I'll put 30. But I shouldn't have to. Where's silver at? Where's the silver at? It's kind of annoying to set up auto sell. Dang it. Because <laughs> then that happens. See, I, I'm pretty sure silver would never jam up the warehouse, but you want to have everything on auto sell. Uh, next is wires. I'll do 30. Uh, where's the silver wire? I know I'm never going to auto sell silver wire. I know that, but... Come on, where is it? Uh, this is a hassle. There it is. Okay. Uh, next, I want to do the jump rings. Okay, I'll put auto sell on, you know, 35. Because I don't really want to sell the copper jump rings right now. Uh, what about the silver jump rings? Yeah. Silver jump rings. Okay, got him. And Shanley earrings at 25. There we go. Everything's on auto sale now. DC is, what's up? I seen your message. I was just busy with the auto sale. <laughs> DC says, uh, hey Dev, I just came back from vacation. I see this new meta is WTF, is all these new buildings. <laughs> uh, no good idea to learn then on competition days. <laughs> I hope you had a good vacation. Glad to see you back. Yeah, they introduced this whole new uh, jewelry production chain. I made a guide, but I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you got this. It's actually not that hard. It, it might look intimidating. And I asked people earlier, but I don't think this meta is that hard. <laughs> but yeah, Theseus, uh, look over the Talent Star playbook. I got all the information there. I'm sure you can learn it pretty quickly. And I mean, you're watching my stream, so here's an idea. <laughs> There's a lot of build layouts uh, for this because the last week's competition got canceled because uh, there was an issue with the offline mode and the leaderboard. But I am done with my build. I am just letting it run and hopefully it does what it's supposed to. Uh, I'm waiting for 25 chandelier earrings just so I can witness the first sale. I think the I I feel like I'm missing one silver padding site, or maybe I'm missing a padded house. I'm not really sure. I'm missing something. DC, so I see your video now. I copy you like crazy, no problem. Whatever helps you out. Based off the ore I'm getting, I I should get like 68 per hour, uh, 58 per hour, at least 58 per hour. Yeah, I have too many copper jump rings. If it sells them, then it's fine, I guess. Actually, my storage is almost completely. <laughs> trying to figure out what is what exactly the tweets i think you are low in wood hmm that shouldn't be an issue but actually let me check let me check so i have 10 trees and the way to check if i'm low on wood is to check all my forges 
and see if they are waiting on wood. If I notice that forges have all the ores but no wood, that, that would mean I am low on wood. Which... I have just checked on my forges, none of them need wood. Uh, yeah, they don't need wood, so wood isn't the issue. You know, Totes, I can't remember if I had 9 trees or 10 when I when I practiced this last night. Like, I made one last week, and I don't think I reported what that was. I might have another silver panning site. I really don't remember. But wood isn't the issue. Maybe it does work just fine. It's just I need to give it like a good two hours to know what the real rate is going to be. You, if you just look at copper ore, that's 60 earrings per hour worth right there. The silver ore is a little too low. The silver makes sense uh, when you compare it to the silver ore that I'm getting though. So maybe I need one more silver panning site. Maybe that was it. Oh, it could also be that I need to rotate these. Also, let's see. Maybe I did have this ore storage rotated like this. No, that wouldn't make sense. No, yeah, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out. I'm not going to spend like three hours trying to figure out how to how I got it to 60. Like if it ends up at 58 or 59, I'll take it. Like, for everybody's sake, I just hope that there's not going to be any more issues this competition. It shouldn't get cancelled. Uh, it should just be alright. <laughs> uh, okay, I sold my first batch, and as you can see, rank 8, right next to Paramin, but I'm, I'm sure he'll... Pass me up. So, how many people have sold it? 19 people have sold chandelier earrings so far. It's just that I'm selling in batches of 25. So, top 10, very nice. I'm not going to say top 10, not at all. I'll be super happy if I can get top 50. Worst case, I should get top 100. Um, assuming, you know, disconnects or power outages is not an issue oh speaking of which so let me check the weather okay so there's a chance of rain today wednesday thursday and friday whoa just my luck i'll probably get a power outage but uh i'll try not to worry about that okay guys <laughs> That might be what screws me over. I would not be surprised. So, uh, wish me best of luck that I don't lose power. Because that's probably the, the kind of luck that I need for this competition. Drake says, see, change one red timer silver side to green. See, I could get rid of a panner house, but then I might not have enough panners to actually pick up all the ores. Because, you know, I think they rarely pick these up. These are, like, the last ones that get picked up over here. So like if I get rid of a panner house, then these two silver panning sites will run faster. Brian, second power plant finally building. Nice. I can say for sure it'll do better than last week's layout. So there's that. Like, there's no way this can do worse than last week's. It'll do more than 55 once it's safe. I still have a bunch of copper.
Oh, you know what I noticed? This panning site? It's backwards. Oh. Maybe that was slowing it down. No. It could also be the way I have my silver panning sites rotated. Oh, look at this one. This one's backwards too. See, I didn't even realize that. That could be the, what was affecting my silver rate. Okay, those are... That's copper, but... Yeah, I didn't rotate these. Very important I have these rotated correctly. That might have been the issue. I'm trying to see how they pick this one up because I might have to rotate that. Uh, nah, it's fine. I'll just leave it like that. They should all be good. Seven per hour. Maybe my silver ore went up a little. I kind of want to refresh it just to see what my silver ore is at now after those little adjustments. Then it's going to take even longer to get an accurate read on the chandelier earrings. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna reset it. There we go. I reset it again. I want to see what my silver ore rate is now after rotating rotating two buildings. I want to see what, if it made a difference. And I'll leave it like this. That way you can also see the uh, chandelier earrings. I am going to take a break, uh, just eat something, and I'll be back to see how it's doing. And then after that, I'll stream for a couple more minutes, then that'll be it. But uh, yeah, this, th at least this way I can let it run and get an accurate read, somewhat of an accurate read on what the production rates are. So, check here. Okay. So yeah, appreciate everybody watching so far. Take a break, I'll be back.
Okay. So I am back. And I lost an earring. Oh, wow. Oh, let's see what I missed. Nathan said some panners are not rotated correctly. Oh, you were behind on the stream. I'm gonna take another look at them though. Bukari just made first earrings, so Metacraft in under three hours. Hey, that's amazing. That is truly amazing. Let me look at my situation again. So. I lost a bunch of copper rings. I had a bunch of them to begin with. I lost an earring because my jewelry source got full of copper rings. 54 per hour. That's not very good. The copper is good. Yeah, I'm making all the copper rings that I need. Yeah, copper is perfect. So obviously the issue is silver. I'm actually gonna go ahead and flush this. Because clearly I have too many rings. Rings is not the issue. I might even flush the rings to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna flush the copper rings. There, so I got rid of a bunch of copper wire. Got rid of copper rings. So silver. Silver is what's holding me back. 
I think wood is still okay. Yeah, wood is not the issue. Silver is the issue. So what I could do... I could replace one of the copper panning sites with a silver panning site. That might help. I don't remember if I can get rid of a tree farm. Uh, silver ore is at 1,630. And I need it to be at 1,680. So yeah, I think I just need one more silver padding site. Juice to see wood is okay. I think if you have a problem with wood, or will be a lot in storage. Yeah, you're right. Man, I, I had this. Last night, I had it. And then I made one more change to get it from 59 and 60. I can't really, really remember what that change was. Maybe it was another silver panning site. It's funny though, because at one point I had like... Yesterday when I was practicing this... I had like over a thousand nine hundred silver per hour for some reason. Let me try rotating this. Nathan says 811 silver should do 58 ish. Right. Nathan, are all your wire projection on? Should be. Copper, copper, copper. All the coppers are on. All the silvers are on. Actually, am I supposed to have five making silver? Huh. That's strange. Am I supposed to have five making silver? I made a change last night when I was tweaking this, and I think I got rid of one of my arms. I know, I probably should have recorded this on the visualizer, but I didn't. Hold on, check. Oh, shoot. Nathan, you just helped me realize something. I did make a change. I got rid of this wire mill, I don't need it. Yes, this wire mill right here, I actually don't need that one. I just seen the picture because I did take a screenshot um, and I forgot to put that on the visualizer. No, that's supposed to be another panner house. This is supposed to be a panner house, which means I'm going to need to get wood again, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to temporarily get rid of a copper panning site. Why? Well, I guess I didn't completely finish. Something was off. So I need to store uh, wood. I'm going to... Actually, no. I'll keep my dragon there for now. I need to store wood. Oh, it's already stored. 
Yeah, <laughs> wood's not an issue if it's already storing it like that, so that's good. Let's see if I can get this built. Now here, here's my reasoning for only having four. I did the math, and I can make 120 silver wire with each one per hour, of course. So four of them will let me make 480 silver wire per hour, and look, I, I actually don't even need 480 per hour, I only need like 420. So four of them is more than enough to make the uh, silver wire that I need. So w one tweak that I ended up making in the end was putting another pander house here. You know, that way I have them collecting more more often. I could add another silver panning site. I, I don't know if I'll need it past that point, but yeah, I could do that. So get rid of this again, put back a tree. I'm going to try to collect more wood. I'm going to need a wood again to build the copper panning site back. And I'm thinking of replacing one of these for silver. Oh, we'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. I'm gonna check my picture again. Make sure nothing else I missed. Uh, because like you said earlier, you had dragon near silver site. I think dragon not give shade, right? You're right, Jixies. The dragon doesn't give shade, but even if I put the dragon right here, like even if I get rid of this pander house, these are still going to be red timer because the forge casts dirty and this pander house still casts shade. So having the dragon here or here, in my opinion, does not make a difference. Like it, it shouldn't, it should not make any difference at all. Yeah, but that's one change that I forgot. Two hundred ninety-seven silver drum rings equal forty-two point three chandeliers. Are you sure the math is right there? I think you're looking at the wrong number. Uh, Nathan. 300 silver jump rings isn't enough for 60. It's just that you need 420 silver wire. Because each of the chandelier earrings needs two silver wire. I think you were looking at the wrong number. Juxi's already didn't realize that forge. Yeah. It was an issue with the silver. I need to collect uh, more wood now. Oh, there we go. There's one. I need to collect more though. So last tweaks that I'm thinking of, I'm going to replace one of these for silver. I'm going to build the copper one back here. And really, that's all I can think of. I think everything else is supposed to be how it's supposed to be. The rotation of the banner houses should not mean anything. Like, those don't affect anything. Oops. Where is, where is my rank? <laughs> oh, rank 14. Okay. That's nice. I'm about to sell another batch of earrings as well. Nathan, I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Can I uh, get more wood production? You know, I think I think it was one or two more silver panning sites. I'm almost certain of it. Like my copper ore is way higher now. I'm gonna do two more silver panning sites. I think that was it. 
there's some last tweak that I forgot to just put on my visualizer. That's what it was. I need more than three wood. Okay, uh, oh yeah, here's what I do. Get rid of the dragon temporarily. Put the crane bot. So I can build these two. Yeah, I'm gonna try to trick the crane bot here. You know how I did earlier. Trick the crane bot. Hope this works. So it's gonna go for wood. Try to build the other one. Copper panning site. Stop building this one. Now it's gonna go build this one. Okay, it worked. Tricked it. Nice. Two more silver panning sites. I think that was it. It was one or two. Place the dragon back. Okay, so you, you guys probably won't see like the full 60 per hour, assuming I get to that point. But uh, I, I did show off some last additional tweaks, which should solve the issue. It should. Drake CC without skin, one copper site close to storages is 200 per hour. Wow. Yeah, just gonna review the changes again. I got rid of one wire mill making silver for another panner house. I switched two of the copper panning sites for silver panning sites. That should give me the silver I need for 60 per hour. Yeah, yeah, that, that was essentially the problem. That was all I needed. Cool, a model selling earrings. Auto sell copper jump earrings. I'm going to lower it to... Heck, I'll just lower it to 25. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to auto sell it at 25. Okay. Right, third batch of earrings sold. That puts me once again top 10. I think it's going great. Okay, yeah, copper slightly higher than silver. 1632 silver equals 58.3 chandeliers. Goal 1680, that's right. Uh, so I guess I should reset this again, huh? I'll reset it again. Like, silver already went up to 1640. I'm gonna reset it. I'll be here for a couple more minutes. Just to try to get an idea of what the ore rates are, at the very least. Because chandelier rates won't be correct right away. I think that was it. I, I cannot think of any other changes that I could have done. But as you guys can see, a little adjustment like that can make a big difference.
Yeah, let it run for a while. I'm gonna check Discord and see what's up. Bokari 10th earring being made now, so about to have first earring sale. Awesome. I think it'll take most people the whole day just to make their first earring sale. Rachel just sold her first 10 as well. Nice. I was reading what MME said. Leaderboard showing me in two ranks. Uh, I know what he's talking about. Like, I'll see myself in rank 8, and then I'll scroll down and see myself in some other rank. I see you, RBT. Rank 79. Congrats. Cheers, Dub. Happy 4th. Happy 4th to you as well. Ryan, I only have one NFT. I'll be a while for earrings. Which one do you have? Uh, I assume maybe the Express Depot. Bokari earring sale went from 120 to 80th place. Right behind RBT. Assuming. That's right. Neighbors. Jeez, my copper horse way too high right now. Oh gosh. Uh, I just, I'll, I'm gonna assume that it still needs to balance itself out. Yeah, express but okay. Brian, the only fireworks concerning me are those fire plants. <laughs> Happy for it. Uh, my ore looks good, but I mean, it's too early to tell. That copper ore is way too high. And that's just... that was one more banner house. Yeah, they're going for these now, okay. They're waiting on the silver earrings. My opinion, if it took you less than three hours to set up the gas production, you're doing good. If it took you between three to four hours, it's okay, but if it took you more than four hours, too slow. 
but it's fine though. You keep doing it, you uh, you keep getting better at it. Brian, if I ever hit the lotto, I'm buying 50 favors MCs. <laughs> well, that would be helpful, but. I think there were there's better things you can get than just 50 pay roads. <laughs> Nathan only gathered about 600 copper. The average will go down probably. Yeah. Copper rings is good. Silver ring. That's where the silver ring's supposed to be. Same thing with the wire. Those numbers are correct. So if we ignore the earrings for now, because it's too hard to get a correct number for this in just a couple minutes. If you look at the silver wire and rings, they're pretty much spot on. For 60 earrings per hour. Same thing with the copper. Uh, same thing with the ore, silver, copper over here. Copper ore. Oh, that okay. that copper ore is way too high. It doesn't matter, but um, it's just like higher than the way I expected it to be. Oh, there we go. Look, 60 chandeliers, <laughs> chandelier earrings per hour. After just getting a ton of them. That's a, that's a good sign. I, I think I, I think we figured it out. You know, maybe I end up overproducing copper, but, uh, I don't get, I don't, uh, I don't ever get more silver than that. I think like. Yeah, maybe maybe I could put one more silver panning site. I I don't think I didn't try that out last night. I I don't think I put more silver panning sites after I got to sixty. Uh, but I'm I'm not gonna bother. Sixty was the goal. Okay, it's fifty six now. But trust me, trust me, it should be doing sixty. It should. Everything else makes makes sense now. Bravo, thank you. Figured it out. It, it went all the way down to 54. <laughs> Trust me, it should be doing 60. I'll post a screenshot on Discord later. Um, well, once I'm done streaming, I'm going to go move it over to Chrome because that's where I have the refresh script. So it's going to refresh my production monitor. I'll leave it. I'll try to leave it running all day and then I'll take a screenshot. That'll be an accurate rate.
Oh, they posted. Full Crown posted something on Townsfer this morning. Uh, let me watch the clip. Hold on. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna post it on my Discord. Volcron posted uh, like a clip of how Townstar is supposed to be working on mobile. I hope they can get whatever they're prioritizing done fast so they can get back on track with Daily Play and Earth. But uh, he says that they fixed. Not yet, but he says they're they're uh, they have the fix for when whenever you play on your mobile device and you like zoom in, like it's so broken right now. But he claims that there will be a fix for that, and also he's showing off the the day and night cycle thing. Like he's playing Townstar in the morning time. So you can see the, the shade, like the shadows. It looks like it's actually morning in the game. So that looks pretty good. That looks nice. Because like right now we're playing Townstar and it's like... Like there's no sun. Maybe there is a sun. Maybe it's like the sun's right above the town all the time. So you see how the shadows... They're always like... The shadows never move, that's what I'm trying to say, and some of this stuff doesn't even cast shadow. It's like it's noon. It's always daytime, noon, and town star, and that's why there's almost no shadow action going on. So all the day and night cycle things going to do right now is just make the uh, game look a little better. Ovo, 1v1 challenge in spider tank. Are you challenging me, Ovo? You're challenging me? To spider tanks battle me i've only ever played three games of spider tanks i don't even know how to move the uh, tank anymore <laughs> if you challenge me you're gonna instantly win i don't even know how to play that game nathan it's like a casino always say yeah 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 you don't know you don't know what time it is when you're playing town Star. You can go to the casino at 2 in the morning, you won't know it's 2 in the morning. It's always it looks like the same time. How many earrings will I actually make? It kind of looks like I'll make more than 60. Let me see. 306 silver... Uh, okay, it went down to 303. Hold on, let me check something. For 61 earrings, I need 305 silver jump rings. Oh, now it went up to 310. Okay, maybe I can make 61 earrings, maybe. Maybe even 62. Maybe. Hey, the more the better. Obo, how good are you at spider tanks? You must play more than me. You're challenging me, so you must actually play the game. <laughs> I don't play spider tanks. Although, if I made a stream... If I made a stream of me playing spider tanks... First of all, I don't think people would watch it. Because most people will watch my content for Townstar, which is completely okay. But I do plan on making content for other games. Um, but second of all, I think I would just suck at spider tanks. Compared to all these other people who will play it every day now. Like, if you want to watch good spider tanks content... I would honestly recommend Classic Games because he really loves that game. He plays Spider Tanks, 
he's asked me to play spider tanks with him as well like compete in his competitions but like i just don't play spider tanks like that's not my game Ovo, why do you look like your Vox? It's a Vox of me! That's why I look like my Vox. It's my Vox. It's me. <laughs> that it's it's not an NFT. Like like um I didn't even make it myself. I had somebody make it for me. Uh but they actually did make me like the voxel character, like the one you see in the intro and outro of my videos. So it is a actual voxel character. Uh, but I didn't make it. Somebody made it for me, and yeah, it's supposed to look like me. Nathan, yeah, you might do 61 if your crafting tables are up to it. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that would be good. I mean, it seems like I could make 61 with the numbers that I'm producing. But yeah, that would be good. Spider Tank is more fun to play. Well... I think that is an opinion, right? Yeah, it's an opinion. So, yeah, I've only ever played three games of Spider Tanks. And it was cool. Like, the first game I played, it made me want to play it again. And then again. And then I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm not even that good at this game. And I just never went back to playing it. The uh, During May Mayhem, the month of May, I was planning on actually playing spider tanks more often because there is more rewards involved but i'm like i don't i really don't want to i i personally still rather play talent star so i never actually played spider tanks again after those first three games which was months ago uh, i don't even remember when that was and yeah i never really made spider tanks content i feel like there's people already out there making spider tanks content and they like to play the game which is cool if i made spider tanks content I just feel like I wouldn't like... I don't really like playing the game, to be completely honest with you. That's why I don't make content for that game. And I just want to make content for the games that I like to play as well. So, like, in this channel, in my channel here, you'll see content for Eternal Paradox, for The Walking Dead Empires, for Mirandis, for Voxverse, because I'm actually interested in those games. And... I know I like playing The Walking Dead Empires, Eternal Paradox. Uh, I like playing the Miranda's Playtest. I don't know about Vox yet, but I'm, it sounds like Sims, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like that. But if there's like games out there that people want me to cover, but I don't like playing them, I probably won't cover them, to be honest. Somebody else will. Somebody that actually enjoys the game will cover those games. And that's completely okay. Uh, if... I mean, Gala claims to make like 50 games, maybe even more. One person cannot cover those, all those games. They'll maybe cover one or two or three games. Yeah, and that's that's completely okay. My earrings are at least 58 per hour. It looks like I should be able to make 62 based off the rings that I'm getting. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking better than uh, last night's testing. Good thing I made those adjustments. Totally would have missed it. Well, I'm about to sell my fourth batch of earrings, which means I would have sold 100 earrings. Bokari just wrapped up my rushes and finishing up my build speeds. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. I'll be here for a couple more minutes get in this uh fourth batch
It's up there. It, it's at 60 per hour now. Zane Khan, what's up? Question mark, question mark, question mark? What? Zane Khan, you got a question? You guys have questions, need any help? You know? Hopefully everybody's build is going to plan. Saying, give me some tips, bro. Uh, anything specific that you need? Like, can you be a little more specific? Do you need tips with final build, beginning of the build, how to play, what NFTs to buy? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a minute to see if you have if you need anything specific if you need a whole guide on how to do this i actually did post one yesterday whole guide it's, it's a 47 minute long video like it is a long video but trust me it, everything you need to know is on there um to actually make a build like a pre-planned build and i explain why things need to be done the way i do them Zane, my rank is 2000 now. How I can I get better rank? To answer that specific question, Zane, you want to get more stars and the you will get the most amount of stars from selling chandelier earrings since that is the meta for this competition. But before you get to that point, you need to build up cash to actually afford all the buildings you will need to make chandelier earrings. And for this competition, you probably want to be selling copper because copper is cash boosted and it's going to give you a lot of money. Yeah, once you get to copper, you you can pretty much get all the money you need to finish this. Zane, yes, I saw I'm building my town as a showed. Okay, all right, nice. Although, will offline mode come back before the next one to two competitions? I sure hope so, but I don't know the answer to that. Why look at my earrings? 61.5 per hour. I think it was 62. You know what, guys? I might be able to get 62. This build came out better than, than what I was planning to make. I don't know what changed. I, I might have done something different. I don't know. But uh, it's looking good. Oh, yeah. My rank, 10th place. My goal is to get top 50 before the competition ends. Because I know a lot of these people right now, they got builds better than me. That's a fact. I just don't know how long it'll take them to finish. Why is coordinator 47? Coordinator should be like 8th place right now. But yeah, anyways. Goals to get top 50. If I don't get top 50, then I should get top 100. And I'll be okay with that. Uh... If I don't get top 100, then I did something wrong, clearly. Because this build is good. I think it's good. Or, my power might possibly go out this week. Because it's gonna... We're gonna have stormy weather, I guess. Oh yeah, what's my rank right now? It's uh, 10th. I'm not gonna say 10th place, though. It's just because I got finished really fast. I I'm already done. I got finished fast, that's why my rank is high. But once people are done with theirs and they're doing better than me, they'll pass me up. I I actually like getting builds done as fast as possible. That looks good. I should take a screenshot of that. I missed it. I'm gonna try to take a screenshot of it. The uh the 62 per hour. It'll pop up again. I know it. Oh, I forgot to name my town. I, sometimes I don't do this until the very end. Dub tag, repping the dub queue. Although on the leaderboard, it just shows uh, dub separate because that's my account name. Zane, how many NFT should I buy for this? Right now, I haven't bought anything. Just started after watching your videos. Okay, Zane, you don't need to buy any NFTs for this. Do not feel like you need to invest any of your money in this game because it is not required. 
However, if you enjoy playing the game and you do want to invest some of your money, and yes, I'm going to call it an investment, even though people, some people say this shouldn't be an investment, but in my opinion it is. If you do want to spend or invest some money into this game, I, I have a video suggesting what I think are the best NFTs. I can just tell you some of them right now. Uh, some of my favorite NFTs are the Miranda skins. You would want to get one from every pack, and there are 10 packs. So you would want one from pack one, one from pack two, one from pack three, etc. Another great set of NFTs are the Enchanted Ornaments. There are 12 different ones, and you would want one of each. These reduce the cost of everything that you build, and also reduces your wages. The ghost cards, you can get all these from the competitions, but if you missed out on the Woodlands ghost card, the Great Woodlands, this is like the best ghost card out there. It'll make it so your trees grow faster, so I do recommend that. The second best would be the Guided Blades because it lets you make lumber faster, and you always need lumber in every competition. So these two are um, ghost cards that you always use. They're the most useful. If you want NFTs, you can actually play this down. I would recommend looking into the Haunted Mansion pieces. That could be the Haunted Porch right here, the Wing, either East Wing, West Wing, the Haunted Crypt, or the Haunted Graveyard. Those give you passive crude oil. They are more expensive than the ones I just pointed out here, but they are very helpful in almost every situation where you're making gas. And uh, recently, one of the Newer NFTs that I really like is the Hatchet Hang Jr. In game, it's just called Junior's Cabin, but it's uh, very good. It's like a lumberjack, but it moves faster and it makes your trees grow faster. So that's all the NFTs I'll mention here. I have a video talking about what NFTs I recommend as well, and I'm probably going to make more videos, like more updated videos on the recent NFTs and like well, which ones I think they're the best. But I basically told you everything you need to know. Obo, I am in top of thousands without NFTs. Nice. Yes, it can be done. I think in the stack box, people, some people got top 500 without NFTs. If I remember correctly, some people did pull it off. You could, I do honestly believe you could get top 500 in this competition with no NFTs if you put enough effort into it like you need to come up with a really good build and know what you're doing you have to know what you're doing dub you should create a group zane what do you mean exactly create a group i have created a guild for this game uh i call it dub which stands for den of united builders that is my town star guild that's i guess that's the only group i've created for Downstar. Uh, but wait, what did you mean something else? What did you mean by create a group? I'm waiting for this to say 62 per hour again. I probably missed it. Oh, there it is. Taking a screenshot. Okay, I'll take a screenshot. It's looking good. Like Discord. Oh yeah, I have a Discord as well. Zane, uh... Check the description of this live stream or video and you will see a link to my Discord there. But yeah, feel free to join the Discord, anybody watching. It's the Dubs Community Discord channel. Community of helpful people. We all help each other out. And uh, yeah, I'll post, I'll post updates that you you probably won't figure out in the Gala Games Discord because sometimes they'll talk about things and they don't announce it. 
so I'll let people know there. Or I'll, I'll send reminders for my content that you're interested in. Whenever you're joined, there's a channel called Rule Selection. Uh, check that channel and like make sure to react to the content that you're actually interested in. Oh great, I would too, yeah. Yeah, I was going to share this uh, screenshot. Uh, I, it's only been going for half an hour, but it it looks like it should do 62 per hour. Heck, it might even do 63 per hour. This is going even better than I thought. Where is it? What is Wilbach saying on the Discord? You need to learn how to do that glass bottles rush for cash. I also need to learn that. I guess I'll have to break down and watch Dubstep video. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Zane, I am totally new in this guy games, but after watching your videos, it's wanted me to play this game. You're doing great. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Appreciate that. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the game. So this game can be pretty challenging, but uh, it's also fun. O-Town's catching up, but I know O-Town has a better build than me. Um, at least he, sh he shared his rate with me. He's doing... I don't know if I can say it, but I think he's doing 70 per hour. Like, he's doing way better than me. Damn, it's saying 63 per hour. That's not gonna hold though. I don't have, uh, I need to have 315 silver earrings, uh, rings per hour. My bad. Uh, damn, I'm actually, I'm getting enough copper to make 60. That's impressive. But let me check my silver. Where how much, how many earrings does that silver work at me? Oh shoot, that can be 63. I might even be able to do 63 per hour. It gets better and better. Yeah. I might be able to hit 63. 
Homeboy Gaming, even though Otan doesn't own a dragon, he's doing damn good. Oh, you're right. He's not even using the dragon, huh? Wait, are you sure about that? I'll check again in a bit once he does his next sale. I, I don't remember if he has a dragon or not. The Old Town's doing great, but I do know for a fact Old Town is using the Epic Earrings, the uh, NFT Epic Earrings. So that's going to give him a big advantage. I'm not using the new NFTs. I didn't buy the the uh, Trinity Gemworks or the Arcane Earrings. I just wasn't interested in those. But uh, even with not having those, I think I'm doing very good. Of course, I look, I have a bunch of stuff that's super helpful. I can't deny that. Yes, I have stuff that's super helpful. But uh, despite that, I think I'm doing very good. He's doing 72 per hour. All right, yeah. Oh, he has. he's he's using the UFO. Okay. Mafia, nice to see you here still. My town looks amazing. Thank you. It's actually working very well. It's working better than uh, it was uh, last night whenever I tested it out. Like, my goal was 60 per hour, but I think I should... I should be able to do 63 per hour now. Just based off the stuff that I'm getting. The uh, rings and... Wars. He's got 4 epic earrings. Yeah, that's why. Big advantage right there. I don't know what my rate would have been if I had 4 epic earrings. Maybe it would have been close to 70. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't want to go that route. I mean, the four epic earrings is pricey. I'm sure you guys know the price on that. Having four of those. Problem is, more arcane artifact NFTs are going to come out. And for some reason, they said you can only have four at a time placed in your town. Well, like four of their effects would work. So if you have four of the earrings and then they introduce the arcane rings or the arcane bracelets, you can't use those and... You can't use those if you're already using four earrings. Hopefully that makes sense. Hope I didn't confuse people with that explanation. Offline mode doesn't work now. Offline doesn't work for this competition. Unfortunately. Oh, damn. Oh, all right. Nothing else I can show. After I sell this next batch of chandelier earrings, I'm going to stop streaming. Because I'm done. I, I, I checked doing as good as it gets. Better than what I thought. So pretty much done. Zane offline doesn't work. Uh, they turned it off this week because last week there was issues. People were using offline and there was an issues with it giving too many stars. So the leaderboards were all wrong. So they're trying to fix it. That's what Townsource said. So I hope they do. They uh, decided to turn offline mode off this week so you won't be able to use it. I'm gonna switch over to uh, Google Chrome after this, so production monitor is gonna be reset again. But then I'll leave it running for the rest of the day. Why is the option available? Because it was supposed to work, but it didn't. Okay, I guess that's the only way I can respond to that. 
But somebody on the Discord was saying, like, why is this option available? It's supposed to be, but... You know. They have to turn it off because of issues. Get this last sale in. I'm out for the rest of the day. I'll check my computer on my phone. I got remote access to check it. I was uh trying to bring the silver rings down to 25. There we go. Just in case. Taking forever just to get the last two rings that I need. So, just to reiterate, I was doing fifty four per hour. Before I went on break, uh, as some of you guys maybe saw that. And then I added one more panner house and changed up two of the panner sites. And I went from 54 to 62 per hour. Huge jump, just from a small little adjustment. Hope all doing well, Dub. Uh, hope you're not getting power outage. We'll focus on my build now. See you later. Best of luck to you, Trixies. And yeah, I, I hope I don't get any power outages. Appreciate that. All right, just sold my fifth batch of earrings. Um. Oh yeah, I guess the stars already registered, huh? That puts me on rank ten. So very strong start. See you later, Trixies. I'm actually, yeah, that was it. I was just gonna sell my fifth batch and um, 
That's all I got for now. So, I hope everybody's build goes well. Best of luck to you. Hope you don't run into any issues. Just be careful. Watch out for that spinning T. Make sure you check your computer or run the refresh script, whatever you decide to do. And yeah, hope your build goes well. Best of luck. That's all I got. So I appreciate everybody watching and hanging out. Uh, thanks for the support, everyone. Bye-bye.